Hey there all you YouTubers, this here's Tony O with Tony O's Reviews and today I've got for you the leather phone holster from Ollie's Trading Post. Um, before we get into it, here's the barcode. And if you notice down at the bottom it says brown, real leather. I had a choice when I put them on the store. They had a brown or they had brown real leather. So I only put the, the ones that had real leather beside them. After I got it, um, it looks real good. Good stitching. Um, I did cut this out and I got a B roll. I'll show you that here in a minute. But it was flush all the way across the top. Made it kind of hard to get the phone into but if you'll notice I got to notice in the inside it didn't look like leather I took a big whiff doesn't smell like leather at all kind of got a chemical smell so I contacted them and they're supposed to my agent supposed to be getting back with me um, I did I have sold some nobody has ever said that they weren't real leather in fact the picture I'm going to put up here now is the picture that I have on my site, the picture they have on their site of it in use and it looks like real leather. It's got marks like a real leather would mark. This one, you can I can't scuff it with my thumbnail. Uh, one person I did sell it to said that it does leave marks she bought it for her dad when her dad puts his phone in there it left marks on it well you can see this leaves no marks so I thought maybe they sent me the wrong one but after I look at the barcode it says real leather I don't think they did um, it is you know I sell it for less than $25 I have seen these as much as I know $50 I think I've seen them higher than that and I hope those are real leather I feel bad enough selling these advertised as real leather and they're not for less than $25 if I was selling these for 50 or more I wouldn't be able to sleep at night this is a good holster you know I'm sorry I, and I'm gonna if if I'm wrong I'm gonna change my my deal if anybody's bought one that's watching and wants a refund I'll give you a refund I'm not out to try to cheat anybody I'm not out to try to lie to anybody I did not know these were not real leather it told me it was real leather my distributor told me it was real leather that being said not a bad holster um, we'll go to the b-roll now and I'll show you how I cut this out to make it a little bit easier to um, mainly to put back in maybe get the phone back in the holster and we'll do that and I'll be right back Okay, so I tried cutting a little bit out with scissors and it's kind of difficult to get the scissors in and out of there. So a good sharp knife. I got my jack knife here and I think it needs to be a little deeper on this end. So I'll try that. Put a piece of cardboard back here so not to go all the way through. And that should give me a little bit.
to find it and then a little bit extra to pull it out with. Because when it's on your belt, it's really hard to find unless I think this will help. So put it on the belt, stand back up, and get back. Okay, so we're back. I want to apologize about that B roll. I think I had my microphone setting in a weird place. I know it sounded like a fat man after a marathon, but this does make it a lot easier to holster and reholster than before and this is with the case that I sell on Ollie's Trading Post without the case it's even easier I don't like living dangerous without a case I know a lot of people that don't carry cases on their phone. My brother doesn't. So that's with the case. It's got a little bit of a cant, so it's easy to draw. Bam! I mean, it's, it's deadly. It's spot on. I might have to cut that out a little bit more. Just to get it. That's pretty quick on the draw right there. May take some getting used to. Boom. But it is a little, it's a lot easier to put back in. Before, I'd it was a two-handed job and I had to be looking at it I believe this if I do it enough times it'll, it'll just become natural so that's a look at the at the I don't know what I'm gonna call it now it was a genuine leather phone holster I guess I'll just call it a phone holster I have to change all my descriptions but I probably will wait till I hear from my agent and just to be sure that they didn't ship me the wrong thing I'll put a card up here for the leather case I'll put a card up here for this belt I know some of you is eyeing my belt buckle my belt this is the uh, tactical belt from Ollie's Trading Post. And uh, maybe I'll call this tactical phone holster. I don't know what I'm going to call it now. Not genuine leather. I apologize once again to all those that uh, bought it thinking it was genuine leather. Sincerely, I apologize. I thought it was leather if uh, I'm sorry so this is Tony O with Tony O's reviews leave me a comment like the review subscribe to the channel I've got stuff all the time um, I'm trying to get more uh, products that I sell I'm, I'm glad I got this one um, but I try to do reviews over the stuff I sell I do have in my, on my page a featured section of things that I have reviewed um, if you subscribe to my channel most of the stuff on my channel is things I have reviewed so thanks for watching this is Tony O Tony O's Reviews y'all stay safe